libido is sexual energy. It's not just about sex or sexual energy on its own. It's creative energy, it's passionate energy, it's life force. It's a natural, primal, essential part of who I am. The libido energy is a profound energy power in all our lives. I think there maybe aren't enough places to really learn about our sexuality. There is a need out there for this kind of work, for this kind of healing work around sexuality, empowerment work around sexuality. I don't think it's addressed in our families, our society, our culture. In our culture, there isn't help, really, for people with sexual issues. Unless if you have a medical issue, you go to a doctor. If you have a serious dysfunction, you might end up at a therapist and get some support that way. But that doesn't include the other 98% of us that find the whole issue of sensuality, sexuality, relationships complicated. Most of us just muddle through. And, and yet, that for a lot of people is not enough. One of the things that I find really beautiful in libido workshops is that people get to see that they're not like the only fucked up ones because we have a tendency to think that if we haven't shared with many people around our sexuality. None of us come to this work just completely free and able to enjoy every aspect of libido in our lives. Libido work is a great support in making friends with our own sexuality. Our own and others, because sometimes we're okay with our own sexuality, but it's somebody else's particular expression that is unfamiliar to us, scary to us, super attractive to us, that throws us off center. I had a lot of fear, particularly the first libido workshop that I came into. I had a lot of fear in my body, I wasn't really too sure what it was going to be about. Okay, so for our movement this afternoon, let's see if we can start in the core, along the spine. I felt really safe and really supported by the team. Just These were really skilled teachers who had a lot of integrity and a lot of professionalism. It was fine to be terrified. It was okay to be confused. It was okay to be all those vulnerable and complex feelings that we can have that often, well, I find often I would have hid away or tried to come across that I wasn't feeling any of those things. It was okay and welcome. What drew me to the libido work initially was uh, curiosity and also an awareness that I needed healing. That this was an area that I, as a human being, I felt like I didn't really know myself. There seemed to be so much input coming from outside, from my culture, from the media, from stereotypes, from books I'd read as a child, the church, everything that had affected my education around it. Culture has huge messages around our sexuality, and the basic message is, is you're not enough. <laughs> I mean, that's how we sell all our products, our clothes, our cars, our alcohol. Oh, if you have these things, you'll be more attractive, right? So the basic message is, well, you're not enough somehow. There's also a lot of personal history. How sexuality, libido was handled in your family. What your early experiences of sexuality were. All of that has an impact. So many old family wounds are coming up around our sexuality, depending on how we were raised, what was supported for us. A lot of old issues will come up, whether we want them to or not. They're going to be there, because they're in our bodies. Seeing people touch into 
some delicate places in themselves and feel safe enough that they can stay with it, let it unfold, let it be seen, subtly become integrated. so deeply personal, our own libido energy, our own life force, particularly when that life force is being expressed in a sexual way. A lot of people's enjoyment of sex, their capacity um, to express themselves sexually is directly related to their capacity to express and move energy through their body. If I ask you to dance, your biggest dance, your wildest dance, and I put on some really powerful music, and you go all out, then you're teaching your body something about its capacity to build potency. And then it fuels like all areas in your life, you know, it's not only like sexuality. The libido energy is life force energy. We may choose to use it in a sexual way, but many of us choose to use that energy in a creative way, in an artistic way, or just in love of life way. To be able to find how our body can open to energy, how we can potentize. I think a lot of us feel impotent. We don't have power. It's, it's such a great metaphor. It's like whether it's impotent sexually or it's impotent in, in my ability to say I love you or inability to stand up for my kids or inability to ask for a raise or whatever it is in our life that we're striving for. Finding our own potency in the body, dancing that again and again. So you build up that potency. It's something you can rely on outside of the dance floor. You know, in the dance work that we do, where people start really getting into their body and really allowing themselves to move and to move together and to meet in the dance, the libido energy naturally comes up. I felt like I was in a space that had a lot of permission and was also quite edgy, which I find incredibly opening and stimulating. I felt very little judgment. I felt I'm lesbian, I'm a gay woman, and I felt that I had a really good place to uh, dance and move with men in a way that I could have a physical relationship with them that I don't know as a, a lover. Uh, that was wonderful. The real healing happens in relationship. We are, as dancers, as movers, as people, we're wired for that. We're wired for relationship. Relationship really is the work. What I've learned on libido dance floor is to wait. To wait, to wait. See when the connection can happen. One of the great things about libido is learning to state what you like, what you don't like, what you want, what you don't want, and to both learn to express those boundaries and to respect them. For me, when I looked at the stereotypes, I couldn't really relate to that. And doing this work, this libido work, made me to find myself that I'm okay with where I'm at, what I'm feeling. You know, the main thing I personally get is a lot of joy. I, I feel um, a real opening in myself. The foremost thing I found is a naturalness. A naturalness in my body and being able to stay present in it, being grounded in it. Libido is the deep, juicy, full energy of life that comes through me. 
libido is your life force directed in any direction you choose. Come with an open mind and allow yourself to explore and to find out what it is for you. As a teacher, my intention is not that you have a sexual experience. My intention is that we create a safe place for you to explore wherever you find yourself in relationship to sexuality. To be in an environment where you can learn this in a new way through something that's really fun to do, I think it's very unique.